Hey everybody, how are you today? I'm great. The sun is finally out. It is 71 degrees out. Almost feels like spring, finally. I have a couple of primers to share with you today. Um, I had mentioned that I had picked a few up last week, I think, in one of my videos. So I grabbed um, two from Zuzu Lux, and one is Anti Dullness, the other one is Universal. The Anti Dullness is color correcting, and the Universal is color correcting. So I don't really know exactly what the difference is going to be like on my face. I haven't tried them yet. This is a first impressions. Uh, let's see, as far as ingredients go, let me just read the ingredients to you really quickly. Water, infusion of aloe leaf juice, silica, bentonite, stearic acid, isopropyl palmitate, um, aloe leaf extract, Simonosia chinensis, jojoba oil. I had a blast with that one in one of my other videos. <laughs> they should just write jojoba oil, jojoba seed oil. Okay, glycerin, ceteral alcohol, tocopherol acetate, mica lecithin, xanthan gum, kaolin, iron oxide, titanium dioxide, potassium sorbate, and may contain, may contain golden ochre and ultramarines. <clears throat> Same exact list for this one. Okay, so let's get started. I am going to put one on one side of my face, one on the other, and then I'm going to apply my um, Bare Minerals, Bare Skin Foundation Serum, Serum Foundation, and see how this goes. I haven't tried the Bare Skin with anything else other than the um, Bare Minerals Primer, and it works great. So I have been looking for something to minimize some pores. I, I don't have a ton of color correcting. Um, I do have a few areas that get a little pink um, and the dark circles under my eyes, which are big today. Oof, I don't know, not good sleep last night, I guess. Oh, there goes a brush already. Um, so we shall see what happens. So let me just crack one of these babies open. This is the universal, I will, I will do I will do the universal on my left, your right, and then I will do, I gotta keep the boxes which side which is which so that I don't <laughs> confuse it. And then I'll do the anti-dullness. There must be a little bit more mica or something in the anti-dullness. I don't know. I'm curious now, but. Okay, so here are the bottles. The anti-dullness is pink. The universal is like a white, kind of ivory color. All right. Okay, my face is cleansed and moisturized, <clears throat> and um, part of my nails, they were so brittle through the winter that um, they've just been cracking off left and right, just both hands completely demolished, so I'm leaving them alone for a while with no polish, just strengthening them with ribbing some oils on them and stuff. Okay, here is the, my little... Sorry, I'm so excited I have the windows open, but now they're doing construction up the road <laughs> and all of the trucks are going by. So sorry. Okay, I'm just going to start smearing. Oh, well, isn't that pretty? Pink. I am going to go right up under my eye with this just because I'm interested to see if the um, color correcting does anything up under there. Okay, I need a little bit more. I'm going to take another little dot up around my forehead just smearing this on gently with my fingertips I like to use my ring finger so I know I won't I can tend to apply a lot of pressure just naturally kind of like when I type bam 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 on the keyboard my kids always laugh at me because I learned I always tell them the story that I learned to type on, you know, the good old-fashioned typewriters that I love and miss so much that, uh, oh, I think I got a little too much. Oh, I, oh, that's okay. You know, where you had to really pound the keys, and I had a, a very, an elderly, well, to me she was elderly, you know, when you're in high school and you're taking a secretarial course, and she's in her, you know, couple years away from retirement, but boy, she was good. She was a good teacher, and she taught me some very simple but very real life lessons in that typing class. So anyways, I learned to pound on the keys. So 
Now, you know, when you have these modern day wimpy little keyboards and I'm and my son thought I was like, Mom, stop. And I say, I can't help it. I have a heavy hand. So I can have a heavy hand with a lot of different things. So I'm trying to be more gentle. Um, and sometimes it looks like I'm tugging a lot more than I actually am. Okay, so this is the regular. This is the universal color correcting. The anti-dullness is over here. I definitely could go for the... Oh, I think I need to shake this one maybe. Didn't say to, I don't think. but Gluten-free, mineral-based as well. Meant to mention that. Okay. I don't... Hmm. Came out kind of runny like water. It still is. Is it supposed to be like that? Nope. It's supposed to be white, not clear. So something didn't get mixed. Okay, that's better. Okay, so that is how it should look, is that creamy white. It smells kind of good. I didn't really notice. Yeah, the other one, they, they kind of have no, this one kind of had no scent. This one smells, I don't know, they kind of smell like aloe vera, but it's pleasant. This one, I think because it's not mixed properly, ooh, this one is oily feeling. I tried to kind of mix it around on my finger, but I thought, oh, it feels a little heavier than the um, anti-dull one going on, but it feels nice. See, I like that. I like that feeling of extra hydration. Okay. All right, let me just, yeah, see, it melts right in. There's no film or residue on my fingers at all. That's so weird. They're, oh my gosh. They're drying beautifully. Very nice. It's a little tacky up here still. Let me just give it another minute. Let's see, do I notice anything? Mm, not really. Let me see, let me put my glasses on real quick. Oh, some of the lotion. Okay, I'm not really seeing a difference between the two on either side. So that's not necessarily a bad thing. We'll see how it performs under my foundation. Okay, now I just need to give this a little shake. Ugh, and this, I love this stuff, but it explodes. Let's see if it'll do it. You can have a live eruption right here. Figures, not so bad. But you can see where it has exploded inside the cap. They just need to reconfigure their packaging. That's all. Now this stuff, again, I, I think I have expressed this before. Ooh. Um little 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 one drop pretty much per side is about all I need so let's just get this side oh that breeze is so beautiful mm. okay so I'm just gonna massage this all over I don't know what it is about this formula but it really packs a punch for a foundation Yeah, both sides. I mean, that just took a couple of minutes. Just, I mean, as soon as I put it on, even though it felt kind of oily, it soaked right in. And I do have moisturizer and everything else on, so I, it's not like my skin was exceptionally dry. Pretty good on that side. Let's try over here. One little drop. Ooh, okay. Well, I got about one and a half drops on this side. Just kind of pounce it. The areas where I have pores that are, um, which is newer for me, never really had pores at all, but they're just, they're starting to become enhanced down through here and across my chin, you know, so right here, right here, and, and right here. I'm not happy. I don't like them. So I am, I am going to be testing out primers that are pore reducing 
as well as hoping good skincare kind of closes those up a little bit too. It all rubbed in there. You really do need to work this serum in. Typical of any mineral foundation. And just let that set for a moment and see how that looks. I think it feels very comfortable. Um, no itch. It, it feels very hydrating and just cozy. It just feels nice under the makeup. My forehead doesn't feel tight, which is an area I always have to be careful of. My forehead can start to feel very tight along with right here. Okay, I'm just going back on with my NYX HD. Those trucks are noisy. My apologies. But I'm just so excited to have all the windows open and some fresh warm air coming through here. Ugh. All right, I think that's good. Let me get my glasses on and see. See if I can give you guys a review, a rundown of what, how things are looking. Okay. Um, in my close-up mirror and in the faraway mirror, I can see a nice sheen, which also could be from my um, my Pure Brightening Serum Foundation. <clears throat> so I know that one of, you know, on my right side I have the anti-dullness and on the left side I have the universal. So hard to say. I'm kind of seeing a sheen on both. Maybe a flat matte. Maybe the way to judge would have been a flat matte um, foundation or pressed powder. But I, I'm looking at my forehead. I think they both look nice. They both went on very smoothly. So I'm going to finish up my my makeup because I'm I'm doing my next video. I'm kind of this one. I'm kind of splitting up. So the next one I have a um, a palette that I'm going to use a full face palette. So. I wanted to get my foundation on in this one with the primer and I do I'm I am seeing a little bit of color correcting not so much under my eyes I did go ahead and use concealer there too but um I I think that uh, down in these areas are where I'm seeing more of the color correcting happen once my face gets over the you know that this always kind of stirs everything up. Oh, you know what? I don't even know. Did I miss that area? Okay, so anyways, there you go. One drop of the foundation on this side, one and a half on this side, and that's really all you need before it starts building up and getting too much of a heavy look, at least for me. I do I do like a more sheer to medium coverage. Um, so as far as the primer goes, I think it looks good. It feels good. So I am going to evaluate it throughout the day and I will write a little summary down below on how it wore out through the day and how it washed off. If I felt any residue on my skin after wash off. And I don't anticipate that I will. It felt very great going on. I actually, I like it. I will let you know about the pores, how it minimizes, you know, I'll just check it all out and get back to you guys on that. So thanks for hanging in here with me for a few minutes and make sure you check out the next video where I finish my face um, using one palette and not including lips though. So anyways, take care, have a great day and come back and see me again. And remember, please subscribe. I appreciate you sharing my channel and I appreciate your comments and have like little conversations. It's fun. Okay. So anyways, yeah. Please subscribe if you haven't, and I will see you guys next time. Thank you.